Okay, so after you went home, I am looking at our rock samples and there are some really interesting things happening. So I wanna make sure that you get to see these things in case they're done by the time you come back. Right, you can see that that second vial is having a really big reaction to the acid rain. The rock that is in there is our limestone rock, right? And so if I zoom in here, there we go. You can see that even along the top edge of this, it's having some sediment kind of rise to the top. Some pieces of this rock are breaking off and rising up to the top here, all right? Going back to the marble, if you look really closely, you can see that there are some bubbles kind of attaching themselves to the rock that are stuck on that piece of marble there. There's not a whole lot of bubbles coming up to the surface, like in the limestone, but there are definitely some, some reactions happening here with the bubbles being on the rock itself. All right, we're gonna go over to the basalt, and you can see there's really not much going on there. Okay, the basalt seems like it's not having much of a reaction, if any, to our acid rain. And then here is our sandstone, which also looks like it's not really reacting. Um, there are maybe a few bubbles that looks like it might just be on the side of the vial there. Whoops, there we go, this one. All right, but it doesn't look like there are any bubbles on the rock and it doesn't look like there are bubbles rising to the surface. Maybe a few, they're kind of coming up there. You can see them in the middle, okay. But the basalt really doesn't have any. The limestone is going crazy over here. And the, the marble has them on the rock itself and occasionally rising to the surface.